This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, uh, today I'm going to cover a very quick topic. A couple of people, they are asking about what is Web Driver Manager and uh, what is Bonnie Gracia APIs are available in the market to launch Google Chrome, Firefox or any kind of browser and headless browsers are available. Either it is Phantom JS or all, automatically it will be launched. So you don't need to give any, you know, executable file or Chrome driver executable file for Chrome or or Geeko driver and all. Automatically it will take care of it. So this is like something amazing work uh, this guy has done, and I think we should really appreciate this guy. So this guy name is Boni Gracia, and. Um, I'll show you what exactly kind of work this guy has done. So quickly for a couple of minutes, we will see his work. So just type the driver manager, okay, on Google. So you will see this page, this Boni Gracia GitHub page. So this guy has mentioned everything about his work over there. It's complete source code is available over here. So you can have a look. And uh, just 13 hours back, he just updated to 3.1.0 or something like this. Uh, there is a check-in, there is a commit. And this web driver manager, what exactly he has described that uh, in order to use some browsers like Chrome browser, Firefox, Opera, Phantom JS, Microsoft Edge, or Internet Explorer, first you need to do one thing. What? So every time we have to download the latest exe file, right? The Chrome driver exe or uh, Geeko driver exe or I driver exe, and then you have to set up your property in the form of your path that system dot set property and web driver dot Chrome dot driver path and all. <clears throat> so every time we have to do it for the respective browser. Let's see for Chrome we have to set this particular driver path. Same thing for Geeko driver for Firefox we have to do this for Opera driver also we have to do this. So this is a problem. So he has. We will resolve this problem and what exactly he is saying that you just need to add this dependency right and then you are good to go and you don't need to do any kind of uh, you know uh, this location path setup or system system set property setup okay in your code so you just need to add one line that is called webdriver.manager.chrome.driver right dot setup that's it automatically chrome will be launched and along with that, he has given some other options also. So we will uh, check some basic options. Like if you really want to execute a specific uh, version of Google Chrome or Google Chrome driver exe you want to use, you can do that with that also. So it's very, very amazing, guys. I really liked it. So let's do one thing. Let's uh, I have already created a Eclipse project, a Java project. And this is the Maven Java project, actually. So I'll go to quickly that form.xml file. In pom.xml file, I have added this Selenium dependency over here that so many times we have already done it. And now I'm going to add Boni Gracia dependency over here. So let me take this Boni Gracia dependency. This is a dependency he has given on his uh, GitHub page. And uh, okay, so I add it over here. And then the moment I save it, automatically Boni Gracia dependency. All these dependencies will be added in your Maven dependencies over here. So I can see that some dependency got added over here. Okay, this you can see WebDriver manage 3.1.0.jar file got added. It means now we are ready to use this particular Boni Gracia API. So I'll do one thing that uh, in this particular package, SRC test Java, let's see, I created one package. Inside this package, we will write a testng class. So I'll do one thing that let me add a testng jar also or testng let's see library I'll add so that we can write testng. Okay, add it and let me close this pom.xml file <coughs> and right click on your package. <coughs> Just simply create a package and then create a class. Let's see. My class name is the driver manager WM test. Okay. And click on finish. And simple, we will do one thing that we will launch a particular site and we will do just we will get the title of the title of the page or something. So I'll quickly write, let's see, add the red before 
method and i'll write public void setup so that uh, i can set up my uh, google chrome everything so at the red before method we have to import from test ng so just quickly import and here what exactly i'm going to write guys now see this web driver manager okay dot one option is there chrome driver dot just simple use setup that's it so you don't need to use any system set property for chrome or download the chrome driver and every time you have to check what is the latest version of google chrome and all those things no need to worry about it okay this line will do the magic automatically after that that's it and after that i'll write a simple at the rate test over here and simple i'll write public void let's see my test case name is free crm test okay and uh, simple what i'll do after that after setup after launching chrome also i'll simple use my web driver like this web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver and i'll do one thing this web driver initialization i'll do immediately after the class so that this driver can be used anywhere in your program in all the annotation methods okay and let's import this web driver from selenium fine say i'm here i'm not giving any chrome driver exe file path and simple use driver dot get method we will launch the url my url is let's see http colon www.freecrm.com we will take and then simple we will use system dot out of talent driver dot okay get title method we will use just to get the title and then once it is done we will write one at the rate after method public void let's see this is my ta down method and uh, just import at the rate after method from test ng and then simple write driver dot quit quit the browser a very simple test case i have written so and you will see that google chrome is getting launched on us make sure google chrome is available on your system it means the chrome browser is available on your system on your machine like this right now let's run this program and let's see what happens so run as test ng and let's see it should launch google chrome see perfect see it is launching google chrome freecrm.com it should get the title and it should close the browser awesome so i don't need to take care about chrome driver and then where exactly the chrome driver exe file it is compatible with mac machine or windows machine or unix machine or whatever so automatically it will take care of it this is amazing work this guy has done we can save a lot of time and the maintenance point of view also this is really really good so i really appreciate this guy that this guy has developed something like this okay this is called a great innovation now same thing if you really want to see with the uh, so this is for chrome now let's see for uh, we will check it for let's write the driver manager dot firefox so you just need to write firefox driver dot setup you need to write that's it and instead of driver equal to new chrome driver we will use firefox driver now make sure firefox browser is available on your system it will not download your firefox make sure okay remember all these things there's guys that it will not download firefox firefox and chrome this browser these browsers should be available on your system so let's run it and let's see now see my firefox is already available it's launched with freecrm.com and uh, perfect and it should be closed automatically perfect now see these are the logs are getting generated for firefox i'm getting okay page title is getting printed on the console and then test case got passed isn't it amazing right this is really cool same thing if you really want to use some other like opera and all those things so a uh, very simple command is there all these things are there it's already available on their site i mean this particular github you can use all these things 
okay for all the setup methods he has given so let me write it for you guys like this so if you really want to use guys you can use all these methods so let me comment because at a time we can only use one so for chrome i've already told you that we have to use chrome setup like this for firefox setup opera driver for opera for phantom js also for ghost driver and headless browser also you can use it like this edge driver internet explorer driver also microsoft internet explorer also you can easily use that so you don't need to uh, download your driver executables and all those things those things gone okay so this is perfectly some amazing work this guy has done apart from that this guy is saying that if you really want to use a specific chrome driver version okay so some options are available let's say you want to use uh, you want to force to use version 2.26 of chrome driver so let's see you you are using older browser or your application code i mean your automation code is compatible with exe 2.26 or something like this you can use a specific version also you can use so let me write this chrome driver okay like this and uh, let me remove this and we have to use chrome driver so i'm using web driver manage chrome driver with version of 2.26 this is your chrome driver executable version the driver exe file version so if you see the current version is i think 2.43 or 2.44 is going on let me check quickly what is the current version of we can write chrome driver download if you see so the latest version of chrome driver is 2.4 okay so if you write like this chrome driver setup automatically 2.44 will be taken okay but if you want with some specific version or some previous version you can use like 2.26 or something like this also you can use it okay so let if you run it let's see with 2.26 it should run right so you can see that okay yes chrome driver i mean my google chrome is getting launched with a specific version also you can do that right this is also perfectly fine maybe it is getting failed because of uh, some web driver exception is coming missing or entry level why because uh, maybe uh, let me check because we are using 2.26 is a very old version so maybe that's why it's giving some web driver exception so right so we should always use the latest version so but it's up to you okay you can use it so i don't prefer to use a specific version because we should always use the latest version so we should always go with this chrome driver setup so let me comment and uh, let me check the quick logs also quickly the logs also that uh, it should okay see you can see that uh, my chrome driver is starting and uh, yeah this is my browser version it is using and it means it shows it is using the latest version of the chrome driver exe although it's not printing 2.44 but internally it is using the latest version of chrome driver exe file okay so this is like pretty cool guys now you don't need to use any chrome driver system property or something like this okay like that so if you see that uh, previously we used to use like this right if you see any of the selenium class earlier that uh, first we have to set this property web driver chrome dot driver and then chrome driver exe we have to set uh, put somewhere in documents or downloads or c drive or d drive and then we have to give the path and then we have to launch google so now we can ignore this particular line now automatically this boni gracie api okay will handle this web driver manager will handle it internally automatically okay so if you read its uh, documentation it's completely written over here that uh, some number of options are available that if you really want to use that firefox driver with arc 32 dot setup it says that it force to use a 32 bit version of geeko driver if you really want to use the geeko driver of 32 version you can also use that force cache also use the cache version of opera driver with opera opera driver we have to use sometimes a cache version it's not very popular but sometimes we have to use that so you can use that also okay the mirror uh, phantom js uh, use mirror also you can use that mirror to download phantom js driver or something like this you can use i never tried this but you guys can try with a specific proxy also if you really want to use with a proxy connection and all those things server proxy connection you can use that also 
like that so this is the kind of uh, number of options are available although uh, generally we don't use all these options but if you really want to use 32 bit of specific uh, driver binary or 64 bit of a driver binary if you really want to use that you can use it okay so let's see guys one last thing i want to show you that uh, let's say i want to use opera driver right so for opera driver let me uncomment this line let me comment this chrome driver setup opera is not available on my system so people might ask you what is the exception you will get okay so let me make it to opera driver opera browser is not available on my system but still it will try to <clears throat> download the opera driver.exe <clears throat> but opera driver browser is not available i mean opera browser is not available driver will be taken care by this api web driver manager boni grace api but what is the error you will get now so let's see <clears throat> see i'm immediately i'm getting the error that uh, it's saying unknown cannot find opera binary so remember this thing it will give you web driver exception with the name that cannot find opera binary okay cannot find opera binary means that opera browser is not available same thing if you don't have google chrome installed on your system it will give you cannot find chrome binary or firefox binary something like this so remember this particular error message people might ask you at a time of interview okay so i think uh, that's let me back to chrome driver if you see some other options also force download use beta version this is really good sometimes you have to use the beta version of the specific uh, uh, browser then you can use the beta version also i haven't tried all these things but if you really want to use a specific operating system you want to mention you can use that all as well okay so these options uh, it's up to you if you really want to use you can use it and this is the basic uh, the complete code structure they have given 14 hours ago i think this guy has made some changes some binary api method or something like this he has made some configuration key so although we are not bothered about it but complete information about this api how exactly he has developed how exactly the internal architecture and everything he has written over here along with all the server logs and along with all the uh, you know uh, build information also everything he has given the maven central also he has uploaded the 3.1.0 so maven central link is also available build i think he is using travis contains integration yeah travis ci he is using so you can see that uh, 14 hours ago he created a build 3.1.0 and all the build information log information is also there so why all these things are important why i am telling you hi because it's sometime it's you know whenever you are developing an api okay for the for the uh, for and you want to release in the market it's your responsibility to provide that what you have to show is your development work that how exactly my continuous integration is working how exactly your your code base your test cases you have written okay so that you have to give you have to justify that your your api will be used by so many people in the market right so that's why you have to provide all these information and these are all open source so there is no licensing and nothing so so let's say tomorrow i'm i'm creating a new uh, a new version of selenium or some automation tool or some very cool api i am creating so it's my responsibility to provide all the information okay about that api with the complete source code also although it's like okay there is a agreement that okay this is under apache licensing or something like this licensing apache or two or something like this but it's provide the proper documentation everything is very very important is okay cool so i think we should uh, thank this guy boni gracia i think if we can check his profile this guy boni gracia he is a software engineer and assistant professor in university of region carlos in madrid spain he is a spanish guy and this guy is really cool if you really want to ask something this you can mail okay and you can check his github repository and you can mail to this guy as well right perfect guys thank you so much and thanks for watching this video if you really like this video and if you learn something please subscribe to the channel my channel name you all know that navin automation labs and uh, please subscribe please share this video and use webdriver manager from bonikrashia thank you so much guys thanks for watching this video